What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's heaps of cool stuff just like this. What we have here is the Easy RC Arizona. It's a 118th scale four-wheel drive rock crawler. Does look cool. I love the Jeep. You know, although it's been done to death, it still looks great. This one here has got a full-on injected molded hard body, which better than the Lexan stuff, really, uh, you know, flimsy. This is hard body, which I like. Functioning hood, scale interior features, Rhino bumper kit and roof rack, high traction MT tire with one inch internal beadlock wheel, light system, realistic pinion and ring gear axle, high torque transmission, 7.4 volt 2S, light power battery, chassis mounted servo, tuned coil shocks and of course a 2.4 gigahertz radio system. So if you're interested in this, links are down below if you want to go check it out, but let's waste no more time. That is a 118 scale, super popular in the hobby now. But check out that hard bodied, really cool. It's got a functioning hood, I do believe. We can just get our little fingers underneath to rip it open and we can have a look underneath. There we go. It's like the Katana or the FMS hobby uh, one as well. Exactly the same style. It looks like it's very similar battery as well, but you got all your circuit circuitry there, your ESC and all that kind of good stuff, and your battery there as well, which is uh, nicely tucked in away there. Nice lights as you can see. But I, like, I do like all the details, even that nice fine mesh, headlights, rhino bumper, sweet looking wheels and tyres. They look like, they, they look exactly the same to the uh, Katana or the uh, LC80 series that I just did. Those wheels and tyres look identical. Flip it upside down, you have your classic four link suspension, metal C channel chassis, like any decent rock crawler will have, uh, telescopic front and rear drive shaft. Everything is plastic. The pumpkins look fairly decent. A little bit big, but they do look quite scale. Got your rear lights here. Functional rear uh, tire and wheel package there. Really nice design. It's got all the, you know, molded in hinges and stuff for your Jeep. But it looks cool. It's a new series Jeep as well. Jazzy mounted servo, as you can see. All these links are plastic, but it should do the job. Metal drive shaft in there. Um, so that should be more than enough punishment. But the uh, shocks do feel just spring loaded so no oil filled shocks but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get something to uh, you know retrofit in there as well. Okay let's see what else we can get. The construction manual. Like you ever read those but uh, you know they might come in handy. And it is ready to run. All you need is uh, some double uh, A batteries in your transmitter. It includes a charger here even though it's USB. It's a small battery so it should be fairly okay and a four-way wrench. And here is your bumblebee looking transmitter. Looks cool. Hope it does the job. Okay, I was just looking at the battery here, and that is a 380 milliamp hour. Apparently, gives you 30 minutes runtime. And I was trying to remember the name. It's a JL Jeep. You can tell by the, you know the latest changes. But uh, you got the JK and the JL, which I love. Pretty quick little steering servo. Touching it ever so slightly. So the rock crawl, obviously, you want it to uh, be super slow. And it does have rear lights as well. Put the brakes on, you can see the lights up. And what I don't, you know, I don't mind lights, but uh, when you accelerate, they go on. I like them when they stay on, or you can turn them on or off. But there you go, it's got uh, front and rear headlights, and it also does have blinkers as well. All right. In the back uh, as well. Nice. I think the only thing left is to uh, see how it runs on the trails.
What do you guys think? Not too bad, pretty capable. Um, much cheaper than some of the other stuff on the market. If you like it, check out the link down below. I do wish the light stayed on, but that's you know, a little pet peeve. But uh, I do like the hard plastic body as well, and it does look very scale. So let me know what you guys think if you have this. Let me know if you have any experiences, if you've modded it or anything like that. But uh, cheers, guys. If you like it, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe. Then uh, check out the link if you want to buy it. Cheers, guys.